we visited Bob for a bench workout. I'm gonna give you some tips today on the bench press and, and what I do to make my bench really good. Always warm up. I always use light weights before I start, really light. I go shoulder width on the bench, bring the bar down to my chest, I sink it into my chest, kind of bounce it just a little and loosen my pecs up. I'll do these reps 20, 25 times on my warm up. I'm going to go up to Gonna increase the bench by 50 pounds. I like to really stress the importance of this. I do three to four warm-up sets before I even consider any heavy poundages based on the way I train, train instinctively. I don't know if I'm gonna be sore or what till I get up to probably 400 pounds. And we'll take it from there. I'll do these 15 times, 185 pounds, 15 times. I like to keep my feet up because it isolates my chest, all my upper body muscles, my shoulders, chest, lats. Always make sure your plates are tight on the bar. Hey, we got the bar loaded to 605 plus. Note, this is without any shirt or anything. Since I'm feeling good today after all these reps and stuff, we're gonna give it a go. Just like on my plate, it says 605. Well, we're looking at it. Now we're gonna do some inclines. This is also part of my chest routine. I feel that this helps me on my bench too. Works the chest at a different angle. Again, I start off light, bringing it down in my chest. As you can see, my chest muscles are real tight right now. I can't bring the bar down until I get a little bit more heavy weight on. I do on the decline press, it just, dip, just hits the chest at another different angle. Okay, now I'm gonna start off with some incline flies. This is my last routine for my training my chest. On these I do. Yeah. <sighs> 
<sighs> Bob, that was one hell of a workout, man. I gotta tell you, I'm sure our viewers will really appreciate that. Uh, you don't really train typically like a powerlifter because I've been around that all my life, and your workout is just so hardcore and heavy duty. Can you tell us, what have your achievements been in the bench press? Well, I hold two different state records, two different weight classes. At the end of this month, hopefully, one more record in another weight class. And then uh, going back down to 198s and shooting for the world record at 600 pounds. Wow, what is your best bench at a body weight of 198 pounds? 573 pounds. And most recently you competed at 220? Yes. What did you bench press at 220? A 551. Mm. What did you have your uh, sight set at that weight? I know you told me earlier that it didn't go exactly how you had wanted it, but what did you plan to bench before that shirt blew out? Well, I should have easily pulled off 585, but I uh, had some complications in the room with my shirt and uh, in the warm-up area. So A lot of people uh, ask me, in reference to you, does this guy squat and does this guy deadlift? And I tell them yes. So would you tell this uh, Powerlifter Video fan group exactly what type of weight do you push in the uh, squat and in the deadlift? Well, I've only been working my legs for probably about two years now, doing the squats, doing all the assistance works for my legs. I'm just basically uh, working on the form and technique right now, going really deep. My squats are in the high fives. Same thing with my deadlifts, but like I said, I'm strictly concentrating on form right now, and based on my strength in my upper body, I don't see why I can't be up there with the world's best. Absolutely. Incredible workout. This is Chuck Lamanti with Bob Siebold for Powerlifter Video Magazine. Ken Leister.